Carl stepped out from the back door and screamed under his breath. Thirty minutes was a long time to do anything, but playing host in an automated restaurant had been excruciatingly boring. Still, they needed a burst of the human touch to boost their ratings, and he needed the credits. As he pulled on his jacket and strolled out from the back alley into the bustle of the city, his lapel buzzed. He bit his bottom lip. Maria was in town, as promised. He'd met her a few weeks ago in the exclusive virtual club he visited whenever he had enough credits, often choosing to frequent it for a few minutes rather than paying for somewhere to sleep for the night. The spark between them had soon become obvious and she'd begun covering his fee. The prospect of a life with her and with chunks of pleasure time whenever he wished made his stomach do a little flip. Although he suspected it would be hard to break the habits of his own hand-to-mouth upbringing. She interrupted his thoughts via his earpiece. Hey, want to come to a party? There'll be food and it's for a full hour. He grimaced. She was too early. He couldn't afford the transport, let alone the entrance fee. I'd love to, he said, but I have a job lined up. Maybe we can meet afterwards? I'll pay, she replied. I'm sending you my crypto track token and the top of the range car. Carl hesitated, unsure whether to accept, but then confirmed receipt and waited at the edge of the pavement. He slid into the driver's seat, even though it was no longer a legal requirement, activated the token and the car sped off. Other cars moved over to let him pass or paused at junctions to let him through. And while his car was busy manipulating the city traffic and with an increasing sense of superiority, he casually watched the crowds rushing from one thing to the next. The car stopped and he did a quick double take as Maria emerged from the front door of a large house with a sign outside declaring its purpose to provide exclusive childcare for the parent who loves above all else. Forgetting his unease, he chuckled at the way her sleeve draped across her face as she waved to him. When she moved towards him, it was with even more grace than he'd imagined in his nightly and solitary playthrough of their future life together. Looking up at the nearest street lamp, giving it enough time to recognise him, he mouthed, What do I say? The response from Alfred, his digital butler, came through his earpiece. Offer her a black crash. It's too early for alcohol, he mouthed. Licorice and mint are her favourites of the day, and she'll love the decadence. She was still waving enthusiastically. Carl, she shouted unnecessarily. How lovely. Sidling up next to him, she cast her eyes sideways and grinned. Can I buy you a black crash? he asked. Wow, she said. Too right you can. My most favourite. How clever of you. Who suggested that? Alexa? Alfred. She smiled and her mouth crinkled at the edges. Should I ditch my misplaced loyalty to Alexa? He nodded. I find Alfred more intuitive, although I use both. A vendor bot crossed the road with two glasses of black liquid. And as Carl took hold of the drinks, his credit cube buzzed four times in his trouser pocket. He was making a quick calculation in his head to work out his remaining credit when a suave, well-dressed man approached them. Maria swung round to face the posh imposter and they tapped fingertips. The man sauntered over to the house and disappeared inside. Carl's stomach muscles tightened. Is that... Yep, co-parenting implants. It's my baby's father, and it's his turn to be legally responsible. He felt sick. If they were about to spend the rest of their lives together, why had she kept this from him? How had she kept this from him? But what about us, he said in a slightly higher-pitched voice than normal. She laughed. I can multitask. Can you share? This was his opportunity. He glanced at the house across the road. Come on, she said, 
We have two hours. Let's start with that party. Turning to the side so she couldn't see his face, he raised one eyebrow at the lamppost. Alfred replied, You could go and see how things develop. From the available data, there's a 72% probability that you'll enjoy the party. Shall we? she said, more forcefully. He took a deep breath and followed her to the waiting car. Alfred continued, The probability of happiness beyond five weeks is unknown. Carl stopped. Five weeks was an extremely long time, but forever was longer. He slowed down and the distance between them grew. She turned and beckoned for him to follow, but he couldn't. He lowered his head and walked away to the beep of the crypto track token disconnecting and the electric hum of her car pulling away. Thank you.